and welcome back to a brand new video. So before we get into this video, if you do like this sort of content we put out, make sure you hit that subscribe button if you haven't already subscribed, hit the like button and any comments I will try to get back to you as soon as possible. So today's video, what we're gonna do, we're gonna have a, a bit of a walk around Blackpool, a few of the, uh, the streets just off the promenade and see if there's anything new uh, or what's been going on. So yeah, come and join me on this uh, walk, walk around uh, the streets around Blackpool. We now hit the uh, the one street off the uh, the promenade. This is Foxhall Road, and uh, we've got the little Foxhall Market just down here. So I'd imagine a lot of people have uh, been in there over the uh, over the years. And uh, you got the lots of little fish and chip shops. You got the traditional fish and chips, Lilies, I think that one's called. And uh, yeah, there's the uh, the little Foxhall Market. I'd imagine for a lot of people, this has uh, changed over the years. But the, uh, the Foxhall Market um, has still survived uh, to this day, and there it is. That's the, uh, the Foxhall Market. So yeah, we're gonna keep going. Like I said, just one street off the, uh, the promenade. We'll keep the camera rolling, and uh, just see if you recognize any places you might have been to uh, in the past. So you've got the, uh, the Ardwick um, pub there. That's supposed to be a very cheap one. I'm not so sure what's uh, happened there. Uh, it's quite a few. So what did this one used to be? This used to be the uh, Blackpool's uh, Blackpool's voice. I'm not too sure what that was. So yeah, you got the uh, cell storage units and uh, all sorts down this area. And you can see the uh, the lifeboat is still uh, having work done. And let's just have a Let's whip up this little street because you can see a little little fish and chip shop. Um, number one, I think that says fish bar. And uh, look at that one. It's a bit of a state that building. Dill Street Muse. Wow. So yeah, this is uh, Neo's Fish Bar. When was that last opened? I wonder. Look at that one. Uh, looks like it's been closed down for uh, many a year. So again, just a, a couple of streets off the uh, the promenade. You see uh, Barstow Street just on the uh, the left hand side. So we've got some work going on here. And there's also a little, a little, little cafe there. Which I think I've been there once, I believe, for a bit of a breakfast. And uh, yeah, that's just on the just off the street, off the promenade. I'm just moving back a little towards the, uh, the prom. You see the, the Glen Eagles Hotel, which is, uh, which is directly in front. And uh, I'm not too sure what this used to be. Look at that one. Well done today, man. That's a, just wonder, it must have been a sort of shop at some, some time. See the old neck curtains through the window. And there, someone's lost the, uh, the brolly there. Look at that one. So yeah, just moving a little bit more forward. So the old uh, job centre is around here. And 
And that's the, uh, the Mar Kelly Street Head, the new Mar Kelly's, which was recently opened a few months ago. Uh, and that's a, I think that's a third Mar Kelly's in Blackpool. They've uh, now opened. So you see the uh, promenade, which is just there. So it's just one street off the, uh, the promenade. So just moving to the, uh, the left, See all the uh, all the old shops, saints and sinners, adult superstore. And we've got all sorts along this little area, and uh, this is where the old job centre used to be. And that building um, is still, well, in fact, it's actually for sale now. Look at that one. So there we go. This is the uh, the old job centre, and. Uh, that one is now up for sale. There we go. So I wonder who's going to buy that. It's going to be some sort of office or call centre, I'd imagine. And it's a big old building. And this one is Tilsley Road. So it's just where the, uh, the job centre is, or the old job centre. And uh, it's just the opposite side. And you see the, uh, the new houses. What do you make of these ones? They're certainly... Uh, a unique shape. Look at that, all different colours and uh, all different sort of shapes and and sizes. That's a that's a new one. I mean, what do you make of those? Certainly uh, unique. And uh, just moving round to the uh, the right, you can see uh, all the hotels. If they they're still open, but yeah, it's uh, it's amazing what you uh, what you come across. And we've got the, uh, the Shores there, uh, the Hollingdale's Hotel. I mean, have you stayed in any of these hotels before? I mean, yeah, I suppose you are close to the, uh, the promenade. But it's, uh, yeah, we'll, uh, we'll move on a little further. And look at this one. I mean, this one's for sale as a a massive building. I think we've been down here a few months ago. And you see, uh, sort of like mannequins, sort of like figures in the window. And uh, I imagine, you know, back in its day, it would have been a fantastic place to uh, have a bit of fun there. But yeah, it looks like that one has, uh, has certainly seen uh, better days. And, uh, but it is a huge, huge building. So we'll just move on a little bit further. Uh, like I said, they've still got the, uh, I, mean, I don't think it's open. They've got little tables and chairs. Well, maybe it is open. I mean, it does say for sale. So maybe, maybe it is open. In fact, there we go, it is actually open. So maybe they're just uh, selling it as a going concern. Who knows? this one they must have had a fire or something just to the uh, the right hand side because it's completely gone the other side you can see the little steps uh, so it might have been two buildings this one and uh, yeah, just look at that nothing is still uh, being done with this one so you get some uh, you got some wonderful little shops still have a look at that one the uh, the Blackpool shell shop and you get all the uh, the things what you sort of hang up the uh, the feathers and all sorts. That's still uh, that's still ongoing. Yeah, so there is quite a few shops still open um, around here. You've got a little uh, Cogs Bar, uh, Monsters Inc, Tattoo Parlour, and uh, hairdressers. So you have got quite a few shops uh, still open, which is uh, which is fantastic. It's like they're selling a bit of bric-a-brac and a, a little cafe. So I'm just going to head on down Trafalgar Road and again you can see all the uh, little B&Bs, you've got the new Valron and you've got all sorts. I mean these are a lot of places people have stayed over in the years and you know I've seen many pictures of these little streets you know where the, the landlady's out you know you've got the cooked breakfasts and it's uh it's incredible and look at that that one looks like a the glendale and that one's uh possibly gone 
I mean, just say, not vacant, it just looks a bit. Yeah, I think that one's, uh, that one's, I think we can say what's gone. And we've got a little Jimmy's Cafe. There we go. On the corner. And then we've got the, uh, that smashed burgers in that container. And uh, if you haven't seen that one, they make smashed burgers out of a container. And just on Trafalgar, over on the corner, again, the Harper Beach Hotel. So you see people congregating just where those neck curtains are on the, uh, the little extension. So, you know, it is people still living here all. I'm not sure, sure what, the, what the script is with this one. Um, but yeah, again, a, a massive, massive hotel. So again, we're just sort of like a one sort of street alleyway off the, uh, the back of the promenade. And uh, yeah, so, I mean, these, yeah, what do you make of all this? I mean, you could do with a bit of TLC, but I suppose you don't see the uh, the back uh, of the hotels. A lot of people just sort of concentrate on the uh, the front. And uh, again, we've done this one before, a little holiday shop. And that used to sell sort of candy and sort of little hats and all sorts. And again, you know, all down the, uh, the streets, you got all these wonderful little uh, hotels. And... Uh, Ben Brepers, I mean, look, I'm not too sure what's happened with this one. This is the, uh, looks like the Royal Oakwell Hotel. And uh, it looks like that's open. But, oh, is it open? I don't know. Just look at the, uh, the damage. Well, now you see the whole of the, uh, the side, the, the, it's collapsed, look at that. And it is open, look at that, it's hanging down. That's like a death trap, that, you know? Someone sort of stood outside of that, and that just got caves in. Well, I never. And I thought that would have been, uh, you know, sort of the first thing that they get done with the guests checking in and out. But yeah, the Glen House, look at that, lovely. Sort of green, if you're into that. So again, you've got many, many lovely sort of little bed and breakfasts and hotels. Uh, just on the back streets of the uh, the promenade. So there's like I said, there's just street after street of these uh, these hotels. I mean the the new Discovery Hotel. So that's uh, that's open, but the one next to it, not too sure what that used to be. That's uh, looks bored. So it's sort of fifty fifty, I'd say. Uh, what's open and what's closed up. I mean, if they are closed up, I mean they should make them into sort of like. Flats, maybe you know, the council maybe should sort of snap them up and rehouse people. I don't know. What are your thoughts? So, I think what we'll do, we're going to head back onto the other uh, promenade because, uh, like I said, it's a uh, I mean, there's just street after street of these uh, these little hotels, you know. Uh, like I say, it's a 50 50 if uh, if they're open, if they're closed, but there's still some uh, some around. I'd imagine, you know, the uh, the sort of landlord or landlady would certainly look after you um, when you when you visit these places. Imagine the breakfast, so it's sort of homemade and really nice. So yeah, let's uh, head back onto the uh, the promenade. Uh, you can see that's uh, the South Pier and the uh, Blackpool Pleasure Beach just in the distance. So we're not going to visit there today. Yeah, that's the uh, the South Pier, and again another fantastic um, pier. Many many attractions on that one, and you can see there's a, there's a gentleman just in the distance, and uh, he's sort of metal detecting. Because Blackpool, you know the beaches. I'd imagine the you know the fantastic like little haven for uh, you know sort of the coins and the, the treasures. What you're uh, able to find you always come across uh, the uh, the metal detectors so i think what we're going to do we're going to head on towards uh, the central pier uh, and then uh, make our way back to the uh, the north side of blackpool um, so i hope you enjoyed the little walk around the uh, some of the uh, the side streets and you can see i was going to pan the camera around to the right you can see all the uh, the many many hotels 
on the on the front you know you got the uh, the belmont hotel the funky towers you got all sorts all the all some of the little bed and breakfasts and the hotels they got the new walkthrough so uh, i mean i think there's people in the window again it looks like you know you could do with a bit of tlc with a sign I mean, what's a what's a bit of paint and a rub down you know it doesn't cost that much you know just to make it a little bit more attractive you know so 20 quid a couple of hours labor you know just bring it up a, a lot better but yeah we'll uh, we'll move on and uh, head towards the uh, the north side um, of blackpool and that's quite a new one that one it's recently uh, opened back up again it's the sophia hotel blackpool and uh, that's got some good reviews um, since it's reopened up. Uh, you see, uh, like I said, it's all, all lit up. There's people outside whining and dining. But yeah, that's uh, recently opened up and it's got some fantastic reviews. So yeah, like I said, we'll, uh, we'll keep moving uh, north side of, uh, of Blackpool. That's an interesting one. So you see that little uh, hut with those sort of sells ice creams, it's got a little freezer outside. Well, he's actually taking things in and out of that hotel that looks all boarded up. So uh, I wonder if he owns that one. And he's just uh, stashing his goodies in that hotel. Yeah. Very, very sort of strange, that one. But yeah, so we're just uh, near the, uh, the central pier. And uh, you see the central pier and the, uh, the big wheel straight ahead. Yeah, so we'll just go past the comedy carpet, see if there's anything going on. Sometimes they have little shows and displays. So go and have a, a bit of a closer look and see if there's anything going on. So we just approached uh, Central Pier. And uh, like I said, we're going to have a, a bit of a walk past the, um, the Odyssey. And uh, remember that little uh, sort of the Central Pier bar? Who remembers that one? Um, where there's a bit of a... Sort of a battle going on between the uh, the council and uh, the owners of the pier. Now uh, that's all been resolved now, and uh, yeah, it looks like they uh, can continue to operate, which is a uh, fantastic. So I'll have a quick look and uh, just see if there's anybody even on the bar, that little terrace bar. So that's going over a, a bit of a walk. So it's uh, just around the corner, so we'll uh, have a look and see if, it's, uh, if there's anyone even on there. So this is the uh, the bar there's a lot of controversy over. And you see it is open, but there's no one really uh, enjoying the uh, the views. And uh, I'd imagine when it's, uh, when it's a nice sunny day, this will be, uh, this will be heaving. And what a great spot that is. You see the Odyssey, you see the lollipops straight up. There's not a bit of wind around today and the, uh, the famous Blackpool Tower. And like I said, there's not a bit of wind uh, around, which is, uh, which is fantastic for everybody. And again, all these will be sort of lit up tonight in uh, fantastic colors and uh, Blackpool Town and the promenade will uh, become a beacon of light for everybody to, uh, to enjoy. As we uh, approach the other uh, spindles, as I call them, you see all these uh, bikes. I don't know if what's uh, what the script is there. But yeah, you see, uh, so there might be a uh, sort of visiting something or or something. But look at that, There's some machines there, and all the uh, lovely parks. So look at that, you can't all park them any better. And, uh, so yeah, I'd imagine they'll be uh, taking the views in. And uh, just sort of parked up for uh, an hour or two. So I hope you enjoyed that video. If you do, like I said, don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already subscribed. Just helps the uh, the channel out that little bit more. 
uh, hit the like button, hit the uh, notification, and any comments I will try to get back to you. So yeah, until next time, take care of yourselves, and it's a bye from me. Bye-bye.